All right, we're back at it, people. I am back. I was just on a two-night, three-day hike up in North Carolina. It was awesome, great time. There goes one of my rehabbers right there. He just met me at this property to go over a scope of work and to get an estimate on this project. If you guys remember, if we look over here, that house might look familiar to you guys. That's the house that had the tree in the front yard, the one that we did just finish selling. My partner also owns the house right next door to it, along with, I don't know, another six on this street. But anyways, good for him. I know he wants to sell them all, so we got turnkey rentals available at this moment on this street. And we got McKechnie Field right across the street, which is awesome as well, which means you could actually rent out some parking spots in your front yard on game days, whenever that might start back again. So we've got this house behind us. The tenant got his 30 day notice to move out. The house was just in horrible condition. Property management had been here a few times. He had said, hey, this needs to get fixed. This needs to get fixed. Well, guess what? We can't fix a house if your crap is everywhere piled eight feet tall so let's walk into this house let me show you guys how this house was left it's been vacant since friday and i'm going to turn around and show you guys why you do walkthroughs on properties and why on this property unfortunately he probably won't be getting his security deposit back and let me show you why This is a three bedroom, one bath property. Does have central air, most likely we're gonna be having to replace that. We are in uh, somewhat of the West Bradenton area. We're just a mile from downtown with where we're at right now. Uh, we're standing in the living room area. It does have a brand new roof. We had the roof done on this one when the one right next door got done. And I'm just showing you guys this so you can see what can happen when you own a rental property. Yes, we all hope that we end up with those amazing, perfect tenants that leave our houses the way they should be left, which is perfect, right? You don't even need to paint the place anymore. Wrong. <laughs> That's not what you get. You get a house full of junk. Whoa, now that quite the bong. I got some bugs hopping on me. There's obviously some fleas in here. I guarantee you this house is gonna need to be tinted. Uh, unfortunately, the house needs everything. And I do mean everything, uh, including uh, some of the floors, just getting new plywood, cracked tile everywhere throughout. I'm showing you guys this to see the condition the house was left in. So you know that when you come check out a property, you better do that walkthrough. You better make sure you collect a security deposit when you go and you rent your houses. Never not collect a security deposit. And with that, you might as well collect last month's rent too, because, well, just look, people. That's what it's like when you're a landlord sometimes. Unfortunately, this house is gonna probably take at least $30,000 to get back to its former glory. I'm not sure if there ever was any glory here, but probably at least $30,000, plus we've already done a roof here. I haven't even had my AC guy, so that 30,000 is really just rehab expense. That has nothing to do with some of the major components here. Uh, we're gonna get the bid back from him probably a little bit later tonight, uh, but I gotta move on, I got more properties to go to, more things to do. I gotta go show this one property that we've been trying to wholesale, uh, that if we don't, we're gonna take it down and you guys will get to witness that one. It's on a street called Ingram. Uh, but anyways, like I said, must move on. Got an appointment at three o'clock I gotta get to and I gotta get this house locked up. So, till next time. So we got some awesome news here. We finally got the go ahead on our permits at our Cornelius project. 
so I can finally start showing you guys some actual progress at this property and what's going to be going on behind me. Uh, we actually have what's going to be an entire master area. And when you come through here, and this had all been an add-on. This is going to be all master suite area right over here where we have our shower, we got toilet, vanity section over here. So you're going to have a really awesome, nice, large master suite. And this is going to be all permitted work. On the initial uh, purchasing of this property, and it wasn't something noticed till we pull up the actual property lines, uh, but this property actually does not go back to that back fence, which you would think it does. There's actually a very large section, about half of that yard back there, has a random owner that we're gonna need to get in touch with and see if they might be willing to sell that property. And it's kind of interesting because they don't have any kind of access to that lot and there would almost have to be deeded some of our property's land to be able to do anything with that. So we're gonna try and track down the owner of that lot that's in the back and see if we can make something happen. Got the kitchen area right behind me that's gonna have a pass through over to the living area. Straight walking out through there, you have your one car carport. And what I'm standing in right now is actually the living room. And as you can see, we got a complete war zone, construction zone going on right now. Got all the trucks here, trailers, everyone's working away, making sure this place gets knocked out. And the biggest downside, considering this property is a four bedroom, two bath, which is actually great for this area because you don't run into many four bedroom homes. You get a lot of the three bedroom homes. Is that this fourth bedroom is pretty tiny. It does have the closet here, but it's almost more of an office. It's gonna be maybe a nursery office, a little bonus room. Uh, but hey, it's still going to be considered a four bedroom, two bath, considering all these rooms do have their own closets. So we're in another one of the bedrooms here. And sorry I'm going through this quick. We got ourselves a busy slam day. Got a lot to cover, a lot to go over. You guys are going to be following along. But yeah, we got our three bedrooms. They're all decent size, except for that one fourth bedroom. And then right over here is our last and final bathroom. So that's it. We're going to keep you posted. We're going to have weeks to come with this place. So stay tuned. All right, we're here. We're back at our Lake Sarasota Rehab, the one that has not had much progress over the past couple weeks. Multiple cars here. I know we got work going on. Can't wait to go inside, see what it looks like. I just gave my pool guy the green light to start on here because I heard the screening was done. So I know we at least got progress on the screens, but let's go see what's been going on inside. So we got the paint going on. We got our pool getting ready to get started tomorrow. The bathroom tiles are getting done. We got progress across the board here. Good to see. Once they get going like this, they don't stop. So keep the train moving. Now we're gonna head back down to that pine property. It is officially about wrapped up. Gonna do the punch out walk through my rehabber and take it from there. So here we go. I'm pumped. And you know why I'm pumped? Because we got a property that's close to the finish line. We're not exactly there yet, as we do have a few items here still on the punch out. I was not able to meet my rehabber here. We happened to miss each other, which is unfortunate, so we could just make sure we went over some of this stuff. But then again, I know he is gonna probably fix about half of the items that I would bring to his attention right now. So the plan will be to meet at the end of the week. It's Tuesday right now. He's thinking they need about uh, till next Wednesday to wrap this up. So we're gonna pl probably plan to meet Monday next week, make sure that they don't get totally cleaned out and move all their tools out of here before we need anything else done. But you can see behind me right now, we've got our kitchen and it's mostly done. Normally this rehabber of ours uses granite. Uh, he did put a quartz in this kitchen here. He did a nice backsplash. I really love the look of the backsplash that he went with. I'm really, excited with how this bathroom turned out, the master bathroom that is. And what we did that was consistent in both of these bathrooms with the kitchen, which oftentimes people will do is they're gonna use the same countertops in their bathrooms that they used in the kitchen. And I do like that look, or at least uh, having a look that's close to those counters. Here we actually have uh, very similar style cabinets uh, to what we got in the kitchen. Uh, but we have our double or our dual sink, I should say, uh, with that same matching quartz. This tub here was a big question mark. This was a yellow tub. It looked pretty bad. 
and everything actually on this got painted. So rather than replace it, try and find something that's gonna fit in there and look good, we just had the toilet painted. And we've got our master shower area. Now that it's grouted, it really came together and it looks awesome. The moment you've all been waiting for, the pool. I need to make a call to my pool guy though, figure out why the top part is not running and flowing into the bottom. But this pool got remarsited. I believe there might've been a little bit of new pool equipment that we had to get put in here. But we did have to marsite this pool originally. He was thinking he did not have to do it. So a little bit of a shock when we heard we're gonna have to spend another you know, couple thousand dollars on this pool. But either way, we knew it was something we had to do. We had to put this in. So I'm gonna turn this around, let you guys check it out. Onward, we've been to like five properties already today. A lot of projects, a lot going on. A lot of catch up, just getting back to town. But it's part of the job and the day in the life of a real estate investor. So catch you guys next time. Hey, what's up everyone? Well, let's get some lights on in here. Oh, no lights. <laughs>